Hello everyone. Quick recap on topics covered in the previous session. We discussed about machine learning, types of machine learning, that is, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. Supervised machine learning relies on labeled input and output training data, whereas unsupervised learning process is unlabeled or raw data. In this video, let's discuss about a type of machine learning that works on training method based on rewarding desired behaviors and punishing undesired ones. Yes, it's all about reinforcement learning. How does reinforcement learning work? Terminologies used in RL, benefits and challenges of RL. How is reinforcement learning different from supervised learning? Characteristic and types of reinforcement learning. Widely used models for reinforcement learning. What is Q-learning and final conclusion? Imagine a maze with cheese at the end. A mouse navigates this maze, rewarded with cheese if it reaches the end, and nothing if it fails. This is a simple illustration of reinforcement learning. An entity called an agent learns to make decisions based on rewards and punishments. It's like a game of hot and cold where the agent learns to make the right moves, navigating its environment to maximize its rewards. So, in a nutshell, reinforcement learning is about learning the best action to take in a given situation through trial and error to maximize rewards. To understand it better, picture a game of chess. The board is the environment, the player is the agent. Every move the player makes alters the state of the game, bringing the player closer to or further from victory, the ultimate goal. If a move advances the player towards this goal, it's considered a reward. Conversely, if a move pushes them away from victory, it's seen as a punishment. This reward-punishment system forms the basis of reinforcement learning. With every game played, the player starts to understand which moves lead to rewards and which ones result in punishments. This understanding shapes their future moves. Through this process of trial and error, the player learns the best strategies to win the game, just as a reinforcement learning algorithm learns to make the best decisions. Now, you might be wondering, where does this come into play in the real world? Well, the applications of reinforcement learning are abundant and transformative. For instance, in the realm of robotics, reinforcement learning helps drones navigate complex environments or robotic arms to perfect their movements. In the automotive industry, it's the magic behind self-driving cars, enabling them to learn the best routes and make safe decisions. Even our leisure time is influenced by these algorithms. Ever noticed how your favorite streaming service seems to know exactly what you might enjoy next? That's reinforcement learning at work, curating a personalized viewing experience just for you. So, whether we're aware of it or not, reinforcement learning algorithms are constantly at work around us, making our lives easier and more efficient. Reinforcement learning is a sub-branch of machine learning that trains a model to return an optimum solution for a problem by taking a sequence of decisions by itself. The terms used in reinforcement learning is agent, environment, action, state, rewards, policy, value, Q-value. The details are mentioned here. Robots with pre-programmed behavior are useful in structured environments, such as the assembly line of an automobile manufacturing plant, where the task is repetitive in nature. In the real world, where the response of the environment to the behavior of the robot is uncertain, pre-programming accurate actions is nearly impossible. In such scenarios, RL provides an efficient way to build general-purpose robots. It has been successfully applied to robotic path planning, where a robot must find a short, smooth, and navigable path between two locations, void of collisions, and compatible with the dynamics of the robot. Another deep learning breakthrough came about, that is AlphaGo. It's a neural net that can play the game of Go better than the best humans. And the way that this neural net was obtained is by combining two uh, styles of machine learning. The deep learning that I've been talking about and what's called the reinforcement learning. So remember in supervised learning, we tell the computer what to do. But with reinforcement learning, we're going to train the machine to win. So now we are in an interesting situation where we have AI systems that have discovered ways of playing Go that are stronger, different, original. Um, 
different from how humans have been doing. There are two types of reinforcement learning, positive and negative. Positive reinforcement is defined as when an event occurs due to a particular behavior, increases the strength and the frequency of the behavior. In other words, it has a positive effect on behavior. Negative reinforcement is defined as strengthening of behavior because a negative condition is stopped or avoided. Ever pondered over how a child learns to walk or how a bird learns to fly? Reinforcement learning, a type of machine learning, operates on a similar principle. It's about an agent learning to make decisions based on interactions with its environment, guided by reward and punishment. Reinforcement learning, in essence, is about learning from the consequences of our actions. Did you know reinforcement learning is not just one size fits all? Indeed, it's a diverse field with three main types, model-based, model-free, and hybrid. Model-based reinforcement learning is like a cartographer mapping out a new land. The agent, or learner, creates a model of its environment. It learns from this model, plotting out the best course of action based on the terrain it has charted. Then we have model-free reinforcement learning. Picture this as an adventurous explorer, relying on past experiences rather than a map. The agent learns directly from its experiences, without the need for an environmental model. Last but not least, there's hybrid reinforcement learning. This is a mix of the two previous types. It's like an explorer who uses both a map and personal experiences to navigate unfamiliar territories. Each type of reinforcement learning has its unique strengths and challenges. The choice between them depends on the specific task at hand and the data available. So, are all types of reinforcement learning created equal? Not exactly. We've seen that there are different ways to approach this complex field. Model-based learning is like a master strategist, creating an environment model to predict the future. Model-free learning, on the other hand, is like a seasoned traveler, relying on past experiences to navigate the present. And then there's the hybrid learning method, a blend of both strategies, leveraging the strengths of each. The choice between these types largely depends on the specific task at hand and the resources available. It's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. The world of reinforcement learning is diverse and exciting, opening up endless possibilities for the future of machine learning. The three elements of reinforcement learning are model-based learning, value-based learning, and policy-based learning. Model-based learning in this reinforcement learning method, you need to create a virtual model for each environment. The agent learns to perform in that specific environment. Value-based learning in a value-based reinforcement learning method, you should try to maximize a value function vs. In this method, the agent is expecting a long-term return of the current states under policy pi. Policy-based learning in a policy-based RL method, you try to come up with such a policy that the action performed in every state helps you to gain maximum reward in the future. Number 1 Reinforcement Learning RL. Agents continually learn and adapt through trial and error in dynamic environments. This allows them to handle unforeseen situations and even improve their performance over time. Number 2 Unlike Supervised Learning RL doesn't require extensive labeled data, which can be costly and time-consuming to acquire. With only a reward signal, the agent can learn effective strategies. Number 3 RL excels at challenging tasks where the optimal solution is unknown beforehand. This makes it ideal for applications like robot control, game playing, and resource management. Number 4 can be efficiently scaled to handle large and complex problems for parallelization. Number 5 can learn generalizable skills for abstraction and transfer learning. Number 6 reinforcement learning agents can learn to optimize their actions with limited resources. Number 7 some RL methods allow for interpreting the decision making process of the agent, providing valuable insights into the learned policies and strategies. The usual challenges with reinforcement learning algorithms that we face when would be data efficiency, state and action spaces, exploration and exploitation, safety and ethics, explainability and interpretability, scalability and robustness, generalization and transfer learning. In reinforcement learning, regret refers to the difference between the expected cumulative reward of an optimal action and the actual cumulative reward obtained by taking a different action. 
Essentially, it measures how much a decision-making agent would have gained if it had always chosen the best action in hindsight. One of the most important advantages of reinforcement learning is that it may be used to solve complicated problems. Reinforcement learning techniques, for example, can be used to train robots to perform challenging tasks like walking, running, and jumping. One of the main challenges of RL is that it requires a lot of data to learn from. Unlike supervised learning, where the data is labeled and curated, RL agents have to interact with the environment and explore different actions to find the optimal policy. Here is the key difference between supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning maps label data to known output, whereas unsupervised learning explore patterns and predict the output. Reinforcement learning follows a trial and error method. Ever wonder how machines learn? Let's take a classic game, tic-tac-toe, to illustrate. Reinforcement learning is the key. Imagine a blank tic-tac-toe board. The machine or AI makes a move. At this stage, it doesn't know what's right or wrong. It's exploring like a toddler learning to walk. Now the game progresses. The AI observes every move, every outcome. It starts to recognize patterns, understand strategies. It learns from every victory, every defeat. This learning process is iterative. The AI plays countless games, refining its strategy with each. It's like a grandmaster chess player studying past games to perfect their moves. This is a simple example of reinforcement learning. It's how machines learn to play games, drive cars, even diagnose diseases. It's how they learn from their mistakes and improve over time, just like humans. Remember, every tic-tac-toe victory is a step towards a smarter future. 1. Q-Learning 2. Deep Q Networks. DQN. 3. Policy gradient methods, e.g., reinforce. 4. Proximal policy optimization, PPO. 5. Trust region policy optimization, TRPO. 6. Actor critic methods, 7. A3 Coulombs, asynchronous advantage actor critic. 8. SAC, soft actor critic. 9. DDPG, deep deterministic policy gradient. 10. TD3, twin delayed deep deterministic policy. Imagine a world where artificial intelligence systems learn from their experiences just like humans to make better decisions. That's not science fiction. That's the power of Q-learning in AI. Q-learning is a model of reinforcement learning, where AI learns from its past actions. It operates on a reward-based system, constantly refining its performance based on the results of its decisions. In other words, Q-learning equips AI with the ability to learn, adapt, and evolve making it a game changer in the field of machine learning. Q-learning can seem like a complex concept, but let's break it down into simpler terms. Imagine Q-learning as a treasure hunt. The AI is the explorer, braving an unknown territory and the treasure is the best possible decision. Now, the Q-table is essentially the map. It's not complete from the get-go. Instead, it gets filled in as the explorer ventures forth, with each cell representing a possible action in a given state. The reward system is like hints or signs indicating whether the explorer is getting closer or farther from the treasure. Positive rewards signal the right direction, while negative ones suggest a wrong turn. The update rule is the compass, adjusting the explorer's course based on the rewards. It's an iterative process with the explorer constantly updating the map and adjusting the course based on new information. So, Q-learning is essentially a trial and error learning method that helps AI make the best possible decisions. Now that we've unraveled the mystery of Q-learning, what are the key points to remember? Q-learning is a cornerstone of reinforcement learning, utilizing a reward-based system. It's iterative, constantly learning from past actions to enhance future decisions. This makes it a powerful tool for AI, enabling systems not just to perform tasks, but to learn, adapt, and evolve. With Q-learning, the future of AI seems even more promising. It's not just about machines performing tasks, but about them learning, adapting, and evolving to perform those tasks better.
Have you ever wondered how an AI learns to play a game better than a human? The secret lies in reinforcement learning, a type of machine learning that takes its cue from behaviorist psychology. Here's how it works. An AI agent, interacting within a specific environment, executes actions. Each action either earns the agent a reward or incurs a penalty. This feedback loop of action and reward guides the AI's learning process. In essence, an AI agent learns to make decisions by interacting with its environment and receiving rewards or penalties. Reinforcement learning isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It has three main approaches, value-based, policy-based, and model-based. In value-based learning, the focus is on determining the value of each state. Moving on, policy-based learning is all about directly figuring out the best action to take. Finally, model-based learning uses a model of the environment to make decisions. Each approach has its strengths and weaknesses, and the choice depends on the specific problem at hand. One key concept in reinforcement learning is cue learning, but what exactly is it? Cue learning is a cornerstone of the value-based approach where the primary focus is on maximizing the value of each action. It introduces the concept of cue values, a clever method that estimates the future reward of an action taken in a specific state. This allows the artificial intelligence agent to effectively predict and choose actions that yield the highest rewards. With cue learning, an AI agent can learn to make the best decisions to maximize its rewards. So why does reinforcement learning matter in the world of AI? It's quite simple, really. Reinforcement learning is a game changer. It's transforming gaming, making robots smarter, and powering autonomous vehicles. It's the secret sauce that lets AI learn complex behaviors without any need for explicit programming. Think about it, a computer that learns from its own experiences just like a human. Incredible, isn't it? Reinforcement learning is revolutionizing AI, enabling systems to learn and improve from their own experiences just like us humans. So, we come to end of today's session on reinforcement learning. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment.